So, obviously, we haven't talked about the Steelers much because Big Ben was injured, but when we're focusing here on the AFC and I'm looking at the teams that finished ahead of the Titans when we have the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Patriots, obviously new quarterback there, how much confidence do you have in the Steelers this season now getting Big Ben back? I think they have well, a I good shot. Well, I think that Big Ben you know, is a future think, Hall of when, Famer. I'm sorry. Molly, I think I think Big Ben. Toward? When you look at Big Ben, he's a future Hall of Famer. This is what this is what he brings to the table. We know what he can do. It was a significant downgrade at the quarterback position once he departed. We understand with him there, it's going to be a bit different. But there is no Antonio Brown anymore. You got Juju Smith Schuster. Uh, uh, you're looking at him, and, and I know what he can do. Um, and we'll see what they did. I, I think they picked up Ebron, if I remember correctly, for, uh, as an additional tight end. When I look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, my question mark right now. I love the fact that their defense has seemed to improve uh, uh, tremendously. My issue with them right now, believe it or not, is their running game. What, it, it, listen, James Conner is no scrub. He can play. Uh, but clearly it's a significant drop-off from Le'Veon Bell. That's number one. Number two, his durability is a huge question mark. We can't ignore that either. And I think that with Big Ben being as old as he is, um, he's a big guy. He's been shoving off uh, uh, oncoming defenders. We get that. It's not like he escapes and, you know, he outruns people. He just has tremendous pocket presence and tremendous sprint strength to ward people off. As you get older, is he going to be able to do that? Are guys going to be able to get open? Are you going to be able to ward off folks uh, from really, uh, you know, keying on your passing game because they ain't really worried about your running game? I think, th I think that's a huge question mark with the Steelers right now. I believe in Tomlin. I believe in the defense. I certainly believe in Big Ben Roethlisberger. But right now, I got serious questions about their running game. Max? Sure, although with DeAndre Swift and Jonathan Taylor and some other backs, maybe they could pick something up in the draft. I look at the Steelers like this. They went 8-8 yes. eight and eight with their third-string quarterback. 8-8. Eight and eight. And now they're getting their first-string quarterback back, and that guy is going to go to the Hall of Fame one day and when last seen was still playing at Pro Bowl caliber level. So you replace a third stringer, like the second stringer couldn't hold the job or, you know, at, at the third string, like, and none of them really did that well at, for times here and there. You could squint and think you were looking at something. But the reality was they didn't have a quarterback last year. Mike Tomlin squeezed eight wins out of that team when Micah Fitzpatrick got there. I think with Ben Roethlisberger, it's fair to assume 10 wins, you know, like or to um, uh, set the standard for them, like over under nine and a half wins, something like that, that if they have a successful season, that should mean double digit wins. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, and let's also not forget who always has stopped the Steelers along the way. Tom Brady and those Patriots. Now it's Jarrett Stidham under center, so this could be a chance for them to go the distance, especially with Ben getting older. We'll leave it on that note, gentlemen. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.